Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I am so excited that you have all clicked on this video and you are here watching. We are gonna be doing a complete disaster declutter and clean with me today. I am going to be cleaning and decluttering my daughter's room because it is a hot mess. We are gonna take care of all of the things in her room today. We are gonna go through all of her clothing. We are gonna get her room straightened up and organized and decluttered and just get everything back to how it is supposed to look because it's a mess, you guys. There is no denying that. I hope you get a ton of cleaning motivation from this as well as decluttering motivation. Give this video a thumbs up if you are ready for some serious motivation because we are getting it done today. As you can see, her room is a hot mess. It's just a hot mess. There's no denying that. It's a disaster. It has been a disaster for a while. I'm not even gonna lie and pretend this is some new mess because it's been like this for a hot minute. Usually I do my cleaning during her nap time, so that is why it has just stayed messy and today we are gonna get it done. We're gonna tackle everything and clean up this room. We're gonna organize all of the clothing. We're gonna go through and find anything that is too small for her so we can donate that. And we're just gonna get this room back in order because we are going to try to make the transition from the crib to the big girl bed. And I just want everything back in order before we do so. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Give this video a thumbs up if you are in need of some motivation today. Now let's just get to it and get to tackling all of this mess. The first thing that I'm going to do today is clean out where her bed is. Usually there is a mattress on this bed, but there is not currently a mattress on here. So we're gonna get everything cleaned out where the mattress is supposed to go, pick up all of the toys, pick up all of the clothes, trash and vacuum and wipe down the baseboards as well. I am going to be using my Shark Rocket vacuum. You guys, the vacuum that I rave about in pretty much every video that I love so much. It still is on sale at Target, so hurry and go and get one if you are eyeballing this vacuum. It is on sale on Amazon too. The last that I checked, I believe it was $20 off of its original price, so you can always look there. I will have both links down below in the description box if you are in need of a new vacuum. You guys, I love this vacuum. I love it. It works so well on carpet. It works great on hard floors. It has plenty of attachments too. And I rave about it all the time, not because it's sponsored or anything. I am not sponsored. I genuinely just really love this product. And I love sharing products with you guys that I actually genuinely, truly love. So as I make my way around Kingsley's room, I am also going to be dusting stuff here and there. I'm gonna be dusting all of the shelves in her room, the shutters in her room, her crib, all of the fun stuff. But first things first, I need to get this shelf hung back up on her wall. I had contemplated using it in my kitchen makeover video because the, I really just love these shelves and these brackets from Ikea. And Ikea has been sold out of a lot of stuff lately. So I figured, hey, I could just take it from her room and then replace it later on because we don't really use it for anything of importance right now. But I didn't end up using it. I ended up making my own shelves. So I'm gonna get this shelf hung back up in her room and we're just gonna get everything straightened up, dusted and taken care of as far as the shelves go before we move on to really cleaning and decluttering all of the mess that is on the floor. I wanted to take care of the really easy stuff before getting to the super time consuming hard stuff. Let 
the fun begin. We are gonna start tackling all of the mess that is on the floor. I'm going to throw all of the stuffed animals out of the room so that I can sort them out. After I get a little bit more stuff straightened up in this room, I needed space to walk around. So we're just gonna clear out as much as we can, put it in the hallway, and we're just gonna straighten things up. I'm going to be hanging up all of the clothes that need to be hung up, especially her dress up dresses. She has a few outfits that she just really, really loves and they have just been on the floor. They've been living on the floor lately, so we are gonna get those hung back up and we're gonna fold any laundry that needs to be folded, hang up any laundry that needs to be hung up, and then we will work on going through all of her clothing in just a few minutes here. But first things first, let's get some walking space so that we can make our way through this room and get it all cleaned up. As I've mentioned, I'm gonna go through all of her clothing because it's been a hot minute since I've done that. And there is a ton of stuff in here that is just too small for her. And I'm going to be taking that to Goodwill to be donated. So I'm just gonna clear out all of her closet and then go through it as I'm taking it out and find all of the stuff that is too small for her that can be donated and then find all of the stuff that I'm actually going to be keeping for her. Usually I will buy bigger sizes so that it will work for a couple of seasons versus just one season. So we do have a lot of stuff that is going to be staying in the closet, but for today, we are gonna go through and try to get rid of as much stuff as we can just to eliminate clutter in her closet. <laughs> I have this random basket of socks that have lost their mate in the wash. So I'm gonna go through these and try to salvage as many as I can to see if I can find some socks for Kingsley or if I can find some socks for Tegan. And I did end up finding a bunch of socks for Kingsley, thank goodness. So that was a pleasant surprise for me. I don't have to buy her anything now, but I have so many random socks that are just missing mates. They've gotten separated in different loads of laundry or something. I don't know, but I have had this random bucket of socks for so long. Does anybody else have this, just a random space where you store stuff like that? Or do you just throw them away? I am going to throw away all the ones that do not have matching friends because I just have no reason to be keeping socks that don't have a matching friend. Cause what are you gonna do? Wear one sock? I don't think so. So we're gonna go through this stuff and then I am also going to empty out Kingsley's dresser and go through all of the stuff in here, try to find anything that I can that needs to be donated that is too small for her that I'm not gonna keep as like a keepsake kind of item. And then we are also just gonna reorganize everything because there's just stuff thrown in here. She likes to play in her dresser. She likes to play in my dresser. She likes to play in her brother's dresser. So everything is a hot mess. We're just gonna separate all the things that we're going to be keeping from the stuff that we are not going to be keeping. And then I am also going to separate stuff by pants, shorts, color of leggings, and pajamas with the sleeve length. And then longer sleeve stuff will be with longer sleeve stuff. So we're just gonna try to organize it and make it as easy as possible to find stuff that we are looking for when we are trying to get the little miss dressed. Not used to this I don't know how to act Don't know how to adapt to this situation Not used to this No, I'm not I better let myself Give in to love Believe in us No matter what it does to my heart Not used to this No, I'm not It was like if we were to wait these moments, the light poets to me. So for Kingsley's dresser, I ended up putting all of her pajamas in the lower drawer, her pants, shorts, and leggings in the middle drawer, and then in the top two drawers, I used the left drawer for diapers and wipes because she is still using diapers, and then the right drawer contains all of her socks, 
her bathing suits and her underwear. She was potty training for a little bit and we have completely regressed since COVID started. So we are just going to hold on to these until we are ready for that adventure in life again. And I'm just going to start hanging everything back up in her closet. I like to organize stuff by sleeve length and I'm going to start by putting the jackets and sweatshirts and sweaters and stuff as far to the right as possible because we are not going to be using those yet. It is very much still hot here in Las Vegas. So we are gonna organize stuff by sleeve length. We're gonna work from jackets to long sleeves to dresses to short sleeves and to tank tops. And I also like to color coordinate those when I am organizing them. So I start with the darkest color on the farthest right side and work my way to the lightest color. And I am going to have each section, each sleeve length be color coordinated. So the jackets and the sweatshirts and sweaters will be going from dark to light. And then we'll have the long sleeves going from dark to light. Same with the dresses, same with the t-shirts and same with her tank tops. And then on this side of the closet, I use for her dress up dresses or her special occasion dresses, stuff that doesn't get used often, like her fleece sleep sack, we are not using that right now. So all of that kind of stuff is over here on the right side. It's not super organized because there's not a whole lot of it to organize, but we have all of her dress up stuff over here. And then there are a few dresses that are from like her first birthday, her six month pictures and stuff like that, that I just cannot get rid of. And those are gonna be hanging up in her closet as well. Just let me love you, 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 just let me love you. I am now going to clear out the bottom of this side of the closet. This is just a bunch of old baby clothes that I will not be getting rid of because it was all of my favorite baby stuff from when she was tiny. So I'm just going to hold on to that. I just cannot bear to part with it just yet. So I'm keeping it and we are also going to clean up this huge mess, I swear. The more I declutter, the bigger the mess I make. And this is always how it goes whenever I do a decluttering project. I went through a tantrum phase doing this decluttering project where I was just questioning why I thought this was a good idea. It was, it took so long. It took all day because we had to throw in Kingsley's nap in the middle, but oh my gosh, it just took me all day to complete this decluttering project. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this video and getting a ton of motivation from it. We are gonna clean up all of this stuff on the floor. A lot of this stuff is the clothing that is going to be donated. So I'm just gonna fold that all up and we will put that in a bag eventually so that I can take it to Goodwill. I'm gonna pick up all of the hair bows that are on the floor, all of the hair clips that are on the floor and put them in this orange little bucket here because I do not have a bow storage system going yet. I know my daughter's over too. I should probably have something a little bit prettier to store her bows in, but I just do not. I'm not that kind of person right now. So we're just gonna clean everything up and just try to organize it a little bit better. There's a bunch of toys on the floor that do not belong on the floor, broken hangers, hangers, and we are just gonna get everything all cleaned up. I have my supervisor in here to help me. Kingsley's making sure that I am not getting rid of anything that she likes. So she is gonna be popping in and out of the bedroom. You guys will see her throughout this video. to sort through the hangers. I have a bunch of Tegan's hangers in here, which I don't even know why they're in here, but I am going to sort through all of these hangers and get them a little bit more organized, put Tegan's hangers back in his room, and I'm just going to keep the pink hangers for Kingsley in here and do the white and the green ones back into Tegan's room.
I'm going to sort through all of the stuffed animals that I had thrown into the hallway. Some of these are Tegan, some of these are Kingsley's, and I'm going to divide them up into the rooms that they belong in. And I'm also going to go through and throw away anything that belongs in the trash. There's a bunch of random stuff in this pile over here. There's laundry that actually needs to be washed. There's some of my stuff over here, and there's a bunch of stuff that can be put back in each of their rooms. So we're just going to sort through that, and then we are going to put stuff away. Don't mind the way I won't play Don't like the game Cause I will stay And I Before we move on to putting bedding back on anybody's bed in here, we are going to finish up our dusting. I like to get the dusting done before having the clean bedding on the beds. So we're going to get the dusting done. We're going to wrap up the vacuuming and get everything all straightened up. I have a couple of things that I wanted to show you guys that I got for her room to try to keep it a little bit more organized and hide some of the cords in her room, especially since we are going to be making the transition to that bigger bed and she will be able to get up and move around her room. I didn't want to have anything that she could pull on and possibly fall down on her or just that she could be playing with any cords. So I'm going to show you the new thing that I got and what I'm doing to her room to try to keep her cords a little bit more organized for her sound machine and her baby monitor. And I'm also going to be putting her little babies in her closet in the little bassinet that she has. And I'm going to be putting her laundry basket in there just to eliminate stuff being on the floor in her room because her room is very small, especially in comparison to my son's room. So there's not a whole lot of space in here. How do we end up here in the corner looking like enemies? We used to be the team. People talk about what a chemistry. I can see it in your eyes. You don't want to talk anymore. I want to get so numb, want to get so numb while we enemies. These are the cord hiders that I was talking about. I got these from Amazon. I will have them linked down below, but they are a great cable management system. If you're like me and you don't want to see the cords just hanging out and looking a mess, this is a great option for you. You just put the sticky back on them and stick them to the wall. It's super, super simple. It's just like using a command strip, but you're basically just hiding your cords and you can pull them apart. If you have a cord that has a fatter tip on the end, like this baby monitor one does, 
so that you don't have to try to shove it in there. You can just peel it apart, stick the cord in and put the top back on. You can slide it on the top, slide it from the bottom and they're super, super easy to use and they were super affordable as well. I'm sure that you can find them at other places than Amazon, but I love me some Amazon Prime. I love the two day shipping. It is such a lifesaver, especially with kids when I don't wanna to run to the store for just one thing. So you just put them on the wall, stick it wherever you wanna stick it and then you put the cord in and you cover it up with a top piece and voila, super easy cable management. You don't have cords dangling. Now she can't play with the cord, especially if she is in her big girl bed. I don't want her getting out and pulling stuff, especially having the camera up so high. I don't want it to fall and bonk her in the head. So I'm just going to put these up on the wall for her baby monitor camera. And I am also going to be using them for her sound machine, which is up on the top shelf right when you walk in her room. And I am going to go the extra mile and I am going to paint these to match the paint on her wall so they're not so much of an eyesore. They're a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Obviously, you are still going to be able to see the tube, but at least it will be the same color as the wall and match a little bit better. Get me out of here. I can't believe you're here. Can't get any words. No. best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless Before I move on to painting those cable hiders, I am gonna finish vacuuming up her room. Kingsley was hiding under her bed, you guys. She is such a goofball. So I'm gonna finish vacuuming up and then I am going to make her big girl bed. If anybody has the Betty's zip up bedding, let me know if you think that they are worth the cost because both of my kids have beds that are extremely hard to make. I was not thinking when I purchased this one after knowing how much I hate making my son's bed. I don't know what I was thinking. I just wasn't, I guess, because making this bed is just as hard as making my son's loft bed and it is such a pain. I think that maybe purchasing the Bettys would be worth it to save my sanity a little bit. So if you have those Bettys zip up bedding, let me know what you think down below. Is it worth a couple hundred of dollars for each children's bed I know that they're probably like I think they're $250 for the twin size so let me know if you think it's worth it that's kind of a splurge for me I'm not a huge spender I just that's just not who I am I just really don't like spending money like that so if they are worth it let me know down below and maybe just maybe we can save my sanity here and I'll just have to bite the bullet and buy some I'm going to be using Valsafar paint in a satin finish in the color Noble Blush. This is the color that her walls are painted. Having kids, I love using a satin finish or a semi-gloss. If you have kids or pets, I mentioned this in my last video, go with a satin finish or even a semi-gloss if the sheen does not bother you at all. It will save you a world of trouble when it comes to cleaning stuff up. A lot of the walls in previous places that we have lived have been eggshell and they are just such a pain to clean up especially with kids kids tend to draw on the walls even though they're not supposed to stuff gets scuffed up my dog will scratch at the door and stuff like that and there's scratch marks by the front door and it's just so much easier to clean stuff up with a satin finish or a semi-gloss finish and it doesn't feel like you're just wiping paint off the wall you're actually wiping whatever it is that you're trying to wipe off. So satin finish or semi-gloss, if you have kids or if you have pets, I highly recommend, or even if you're messy like I am and you just want something that is gonna be super easy to clean up, go for it, do the satin, do the semi-gloss, you will not regret it. 
in my son's bedroom makeover that I'm gonna be wrapping up here this weekend. I will show you the paint that I am using in his room and I really, really, really love this paint, especially for having little kids. It is so easy to clean up. So as you can see, you can definitely still see the tube where that cable management tube is, but it is not as much of an eyesore as it would be if it was just the gray tube on the wall. Now it matches her walls a little bit and it's more aesthetically pleasing. And as you can see, her closet is not a complete disaster anymore. We have gotten so much accomplished today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me and being my support system while I get this all done. As you can see, her clothes are a lot more organized. We have diapers and wipers in one drawer. We have her socks, underwear, and bathing suits organized in another drawer. They could be more organized, but this is what we're working with today, you guys. And all of her clothes are so much easier to find, and that was the main goal for today. So I hope that this video has given you a ton of cleaning motivation, and I hope that you have gotten some decluttering inspiration, especially if you are like me and feeling unmotivated to tackle some stuff around your home. I know that I'm super unmotivated to tackle my decluttering projects always, so I always turn to YouTube to watch some videos like this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for spending time out of your busy day with me. It means the world to me to have you all here. And if you haven't already done so, stick around and subscribe for weekly cleaning motivation videos. I have two home makeover videos that I am working on right now that I cannot wait to share with you guys. And I just hope that you all have a super amazing day. Stay safe and stay well, and I will catch up with you guys in the next video. If you need more cleaning motivation, check one of these videos out, or if you wanna watch my kitchen makeover, go and check that one out too. Thank you guys, have a wonderful day.